Come all young sailormen, listen to me. I'll sing you a song of the fish in the sea. Blow your winds westerly, westerly blow. We're bound to the southern, so steady she goes. Um, first, <laughs> first up, I'm uh, honored to welcome John Palms. He's been he's a hand troller uh, around Elfin Bay, and he's lived in Juneau for 55 years. She meant to say Elfin Cove, but you know, what, the thing that's cool about this, first I have to thank everybody for putting this on for me. There's no other place, you know, where you can really do these songs and people understand or know what you're talking about. And I even know the names, I've seen these boats that are being talked about. And, uh, yeah. and I know the places that these people are talking about fishing. And it's just, it's great to be with all of you because of who you are and and that what we sh you know the common way we have been able to look at the world anyway speaking of looking at the world we had a Anglican minister come and give us a workshop on uh, the influence of fishing on the New Testament and you see like in the Old Testament it was all agricultural stuff there were the, the fatted calf and, uh, you know, famines that made the wheat shrivel up and stuff like that. And, and then <laughs> Jesus comes along and all of a sudden it's, I will make you fishers of men. So it's a whole new uh, way of looking at things. And fishing was just such a great um, analogy or fishing, what I like to say is fishing is almost like real life, you know, when it comes right down to it. Anyway, it was no accident that Jesus was a fisherman, the first of his disciples too, no accident at all. Out on the ocean, all men are brothers, Jesus was a fisherman, no accident at all. When it was time to feed the multitudes that listened to him speak, Jesus knew just what to do. It was no accident at all. Yes, he knew just what to do. When there were thousands to be fed, he multiplied the humpies and the pilot bread. Now when some folks talk of heaven, they point up to the sky, but the ocean is the closest thing you'll see until you die. No beginning and no end, she always will provide unforgiving of greed and pride. It was no accident that Jesus was a fisherman, the first of his disciples too, no accident at all. Out on the ocean, all men are brothers, Jesus was a fisherman, no accident at all. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you know, that's, that was the first song I wrote specifically for Fisher Poets. Usually, I'm a hand troller, which means that I'm really not catching very much. I don't want to catch anything but cohos. I don't want to catch humpies because I have to haul them all in by hand and they're only worth 20 cents a pound and the cohos are worth a dollar. So, um, anyway. I don't want to do that, but I'm fishing twice as fast as everybody else because they're fishing for dog salmon. They have other guys fishing with them and they don't care that they only are worth 28 cents a pound because they're catching, you know, a few thousand pounds of them. And uh, 
anyway, so I was always the guy, particularly when I first came in on the thing, who didn't know what they were doing on the drag. When you uh, fish with a b bunch of boats, there's only one hot spot, and you all have to kind of fish up to the point against the current till you get to where the fish are, and then you get your chance at them, and you go back out around the circle and come back in and get to do it again. But I was fishing because I was using spoons and they were all using flashers and hoochies. Mm -hmm. I was fishing, you know, twice as fast as they were. Mm -hmm. And so they would get really ticked off at me because they didn't know when I was trying to cut them off or do any of that stuff. And, uh, and I don't blame them because the time you're spending watching somebody else's time, you're not spending taking care of your own fish. So. Anyway, there are times when you just have to get out away from everybody, out where the depth sounder can't see the bottom anymore. That's La La Land, where it's so deep, it's like 1,200 feet deep. You know, first there's the drag, and it's maybe 100, 200 feet deep, and then the thing breaks off, and now you're in 1,000 feet. Anyway, so that's fishing in La La Land. And if you uh, are getting too close to somebody, these big boats, the, the big trollers with the six lines and the power, they are fishing, they have like 671 engines in them that are running really slowly and cold. So they smoke because there's a lot of oil getting past the, the rings and the, and the pistons in the en engine. So the, those are smoker boats. And, and every once in a while, we would, a lot of us carry bottle rockets. So if somebody got too close to you, you could shoot a bottle rocket at them because it would be like saying, you know, like the bumper sticker that says, if you can read this, you're too damn close. Anyway, so that's the explanation for the song. We'll see how the song goes. Fishing was hot, it was the early morning bite. He ran up on a pinnacle, hung all four lines. Lost his leads and half of his spreads. Now he fishes in La La Land. La 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 Land. It's so deep there you can't stand. It's way over your head. You don't need a plan in La La Land. La La Land is a place you stand it's way over your head but when you're dragging weight anticipating la la land means safety instead but even if you run away to outer space there is no place that is perfectly safe your hoochies wear out and your taglines chafe. There are sharks in La La Land. La 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 Land. It's so deep there you can't stand. It's way over your head. You don't need a plan in La La Land. Now let's just say you're out where everything's cool, where the ocean is as flat as a swimming pool. You might be a wise man, you might be a fool, but for now, you're in La La Land. Then out on the horizon, you see a speck. Pretty soon there's a smoker boat breathing down your neck. You'd think in this big ocean wouldn't have to protect against collisions in La La Land. Then out, so you swerve to the left, you avoid to the right. Why is this guy making you so uptight? Then a bottle rocket flies through your window and the radio says, good morning, from La La Land. La, 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 land. It's so deep there you can't stand. It's way over your head. You don't need a plan in la, la, land. 
come so far over your head you don't need a plan in la la land Thank you. Thanks for all the screaming, too. That's very nice. <laughs> I don't usually have people screaming for me, but you know. Oh, thank you. Okay, so, um, so getting on with the story. Uh, you know, I can remember these songs were written on fish tickets, that last one, because, uh, you know, a lot of times the engine is just moaning along, I'm, I'm trolling, so the engine's constantly going, and these songs were all written in the key of V8 Ford to begin with, because that's what, <laughs> that's what the engine was. But I'm, I'm thinking all these fish things, and I'm, I'm singing along with the engine, is what I'm doing. And then I get to write them down on the, on the pink fish tickets. They give you a yellow and a pink copy, but the pink ones are, are the ones I usually write on. Anyway, so, this song, I can remember too where they came from. We were going past Lincoln Rock on the way north um, from Ketchikan. And uh, I think Therefore I Am, you've probably heard that, is that Descartes? I think it is. Anyway, so the deal is Descartes said, you know, I think and therefore I am, but how can I be sure you are? How can I be sure that you aren't some part of my imagination? You know, this, this isn't really the Liberty Theater. I'm in some bed somewhere in a hospital or something, and this is just, I'm making this all up. <clears throat> well, it's a problem we all have, because uh, particularly when you're out there on the ocean trolling or whatever, the whales come up and jump around. The, the porpoises are swimming with you, but they're all in your gear, and they're not touching a hook. And you want, you want to say, wow, look at that, but then there's nobody there to wow, look at that with. So, so it's like, and, and that's the way it is with a lot of things, really. We, we see them, but not everybody sees the thing. Look at that. Well, by the time the person looks at that, it's gone. So it's a problem we all have, just, you know, the fact that we're all trapped in our own heads. Or maybe that's a good thing. Who knows? Far away, far away, far away across the beautiful ocean. Am I bound to sail all alone? Far away across the beautiful sea, like a moth to a flame. Like a moth to a flame, I was drawn to your love in the night, like a dream. Far away, far away, far away across the beautiful ocean. Am I bound to sail all alone Far away across the beautiful sea Like a bird in a storm I was tired and searching for shelter I found more in your arms, and now you're gone. Far away, far away, far away across the beautiful ocean, am I bound to sail all alone? Far away across the beautiful sea. Far away across the beautiful sea. Thank you. 
I said, <laughs> I should thank you. I tell you that you can find most of these songs on uh, johnpalms.nervous. No, it's actually, it's really johnpalms.com and you gotta spell it right, you know. Google me, but you gotta spell it right or you don't get nothing. It's P-A-L-M-E-S, and as in palm S or something. Excuse me. I gotta take that off. This, this next song requires, who knows what it's gonna take to get this out of me. Okay, so one of the things that's interesting about fishing and uh, is retro payments. You see, at the beginning of the season, nobody knows what the fish are going to sell for. They've got to give you some money for them um, because you've got to keep going, but they can't use too much of their operating capital, the fish buyer people. And so they'll give you 60 cents a pound for your cohos first in, in July. And then a couple of weeks later, when the market picks up, they'll give you a dollar. And then they'll give you a retro check for that extra 40 cents on, on those fish you sold a month ago. And um, that's kind of cool. It's kind of like love in a way. It's, you don't deserve it, but you know, it's kind of something that you got to, and then those payments, who knows when they're gonna show up. It's like, <laughs> a lot of times you get them in the next year. So, so say you get a retro payment in January, well, what do you tell the IRS? You know, is that money you made last year or this year? Well, in my case, it was so little money that I didn't ever bother reporting it, and it didn't make any difference anyway. <laughs> but there are people, you know. Anyway, so this is called Retro Love. Our season of romance is all over now. There's a closure at Love's buying scow. The thrill has gone upstream. Push has come to shove. Now what I need is some of your retro love, your retro love. I fish Love's laundry, hand crank 20 spreads from dawn until dusk with 30 pound leads. I brought you everything clean in a tub. Now, what I need is some of your retro love. Retro love. L U V. Now, retro love is in the Bible, and it's a true fact that if you fish for the Lord, then the Lord pays you back. When God gave Noah the rainbow sign and sent down his dove, it was an outward manifestation of retro love. You got it, retro love. That's what it was, you know. Now, when, as I told you, retro is coming, you just have to guess. And how much do I report to love's IRS? <laughs> In with the ebb, out with the flood, the circadian rhythm of retro love, retro love. Now, how, no matter how clever or handsome you are, if you fish around Gaff Rock, you will find that four. Tie up another 20 spreads, give the wheel of fate a shove, put down your hoochies for Retro love. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, Lord, same damn river. Four years of working, all I had to give her. Hard on my back, and it won't get better. Gonna put that river boat down forever. Load up firewood and cotton Folks who got the tickets and the folks who never bought them Lean against the throttle, hope we get her off the bottom Hear that whistle in the middle of the night, forgotten 